Good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. Hi. Good evening, good evening teacher. Hi. 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 Good to see you. Um, that was crazy. I almost didn't make it. But okay, here I am. Um, can you all hear me? Because I'm getting a some notification here that, that apparently my, my, my microphone is not working properly. Can you all hear me? Loud and clear? Yeah. yeah. yeah? Okay, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thanks for uh the confirmation. Okay, all right. Um oof, for a second I thought I was gonna be super late, but no. Okay, traffic was 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 a nightmare. Anyway, here I am. Let's begin. Just bear with me for a second because I'm pretty much starting everything. I just came home and changed my shirt. <laughs> okay. Um I could not be seen wearing a uniform. So here we go. Um, just uh, I'm gonna call your names from the attendance list. So when ah, first I'm going to share the screen with you. There it is. Okay, better. And now, um, when you hear your names, please let me know. Um, Alejandro Jose Quintanilla Ayala. Hello, teacher. Good evening, present. Good evening. Welcome, Ana Filomena Mendoza. Good evening, teacher present. Hello, welcome. Ana Yanira Mendoza Godoy. Ana Yanira Mendoza Godoy. Andrea Michelle Garcia Selva. Andrea Michelle Garcia Selva. Byron Rafael Avelar Aquino. Present, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, welcome. Cesar Alexander Ramirez Ramirez. Present, teacher. Welcome. Debbie Natalia Segura Ramos. Debbie Natalia Segura Ramos. Daisy Carolina Rodriguez Mejia. Present teacher. Welcome. Uh, Francisco Alberto Lemus Guzmán. Francisco Alberto Lemus Guzmán. Gabriela Loure Sequeira Bernal. Gabriela Loure Sequeira Bernal. Iris Regina Hernández Cuellar. Is here, teacher. Welcome. Javier Ernesto Lucero Escobar. Present. Welcome. Jenny Elizabeth Santillana Cortés. Present. Welcome. José Arturo Ramírez Bernal. José. Presente. Okay, welcome. José Eraibín Enríquez. José Eraibín Enríquez. Madeline Diana Cerón de Paz. Present. Good evening. Welcome. Maritza Isabel Méndez Aguirre. Present, teacher. Welcome. Nadia Isolina Rodríguez Ramírez. Nadia Isolina Rodríguez Ramírez. Noemí Alicia Estrada Palacios. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I'm here. Welcome. Reina Isabel Romero Ventura. Hi. Hello. Welcome. Ricardo Ernesto Ramírez Quijano. Ricardo Ernesto Ramírez Quijano. Rufino Amilcar Hernández Linares. Present. Welcome. Eh, Janet Yanira Rodríguez Andrés. Janet Yanira Rodríguez Andrés. Ana Yanira Mendoza Godoy. I'm here, teacher Janet Yanira. Welcome. Ah, Janet Yanira. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, I'm, I'm driving. Ah, it's okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, Ana Yanira Mendoza Godoy. Good evening, teacher. I'm here. Good evening. Hello. Andrea Michelle Garcia Selva. Present, teacher. Welcome. Debbie Natalia Segura Ramos. Debbie Natalia Segura Ramos. Francisco Alberto Lemus Guzmán. Francisco Alberto Lemus Guzmán. Gabriela Loure Sequeira Bernal. Gabriela Loure Sequeira Bernal. José Raivín Enríquez. Here, teacher. 
Welcome. Nadia Isolina Rodríguez Ramírez. Nadia Isolina. Ricardo Ernesto Ramírez Quijano. Ricardo Ernesto Ramírez Quijano. Okay, let's begin. All right, everybody, uh, welcome once again. This is Advanced English number two, and that's me, Ivan Doñang, at your service. This is session number four. Somebody is painting on my screen. Stop painting on my screen, people. You see, when you paint on the screen, you know, all, all the lines stay there. Okay, so now I'm going to have to... Um... Sorry, teacher. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but I'm just, uh, let's see, I always forget to do this. Um, ah, yeah, it's right here, eraser, okay, I'm erasing everything. Okay. All right, thank you. <laughs> All right, so uh, this is session number four, and today's September the 28th of 2023. So um, everybody, look at this. What are we going to do today? We're going to finish uh, the first section today. Um, and uh, we're going to have a very quick uh, review on reported speech, okay? So what are we going to do here? Take a look. There are two ways of expressing uh, your ideas in this case, okay? One is direct speech, which is pretty much what you say. And then there is reported speech when you express what another person said, okay? So um, there is a process also, something that I shared with you yesterday and I sent via the WhatsApp group. Um, uh, the verb changes, okay? The main verb in the sentence changes. Okay, if it's present simple, it becomes past simple. If it is past simple, it becomes past perfect. If it's past perf past continuous, it becomes past uh, uh, past continuous. So, what are we going to do here? I want you to take a look, good a good look at this. Okay, there's a statement. It's a big secret. Okay, so somebody tells you it's a big secret. Uh, the verb being present becomes the verb being past. Okay, report a statement. He said that it was a big secret. Okay, I'm getting a terrible grade. This is present continuous. Okay, present continuous in direct speech or in the statement becomes uh, past continuous. He said that he was getting a terrible grade. Okay, he was getting. And uh, and so on, right? You have they got engaged. You have uh, past simple becomes past perfect. He said that they had gotten engaged. In the case of past simple, sometimes it's possible to simply keep the same verb tense and you just use past simple. Okay, people understand. People also talk like that. Uh, we weren't talking about you. That is uh, past continuous. They claim that they haven't been talking about me. Okay, becomes past perfect continuous. Uh, she's been absent since Tuesday. This is present perfect, becomes past perfect. She said that he had been absent since Tuesday. We had never been there before. Okay, this is past perfect. Okay. Past perfect remains the same. You don't have to change it. He said that they had been there. They had never been there before. So you don't have to change past perfect. It remains the same. I will meet you at the cafe. Now you're using a model. The model will. The model will changes to the model would. He said that he would meet me at the cafe. Now, another thing that I want you to notice here is this. Okay. And it's very important. Um, it's not just the verb that changes. It's also the subject because you're talking about a different person unless you're talking about yourself. But I mean, it's possible to report what you say, just saying. But uh, normally you report what another person says. So imagine that uh, a friend of yours or your brother, okay, imagine your brother tells you, hey, it's a big secret, but you betray your brother, okay, and then you tell your mom. So he said that it was a big secret. Now you don't say it, I said, he said, because you're talking about that guy. He said it was a big secret. Okay. Now he said, I'm getting a terrible grade. I am getting a terrible grade. This is exactly your brother's words. Then you tell your mother, okay. And you say, he said that he was getting a terrible grade. You don't say I was getting a terrible grade because you are reporting what another person said. You didn't say it. Okay. Again, it is possible to report your own words, especially when you're telling a story, right? Yo le dije, ella me dijo, yo le dije, right? So it's possible to report your own words. If you're reporting your own words, then you're going to use the same subject. You say, I said I was getting a terrible grade. You can do that, okay? But because normally you are reporting what another person said, you will also have to change the subject. And that's, that's very important right there. Um, in questions, okay, this is another thing that I mentioned yesterday, which is extremely important when you are expressing a question in direct speech, okay, you have to use 
uh, or when you're asking a question, basically, you have to use a question structure. Like in past simple, you say, did you know about the layoffs? Did you know? Did you know? Okay, that's the structure, past simple question form. You use did as the auxiliary, you, and then the verb in base form. Okay, nothing new right there. But then when you report the question, you have to change that. Not only the verb tense, but also the structure of the sentence, because it is not a question anymore. It is an affirmative statement. And because it is an affirmative statement, you have to use the word order of an affirmative statement. You say, I asked him if he had known about the layoffs. Past simple becomes past perfect. But also, the verb, the, the word order changes. You say, if he had known. This is the word order of an affirmative sentence, not a question. You don't ask the question, I asked him if had he known about the layoffs. That will be a mistake because this is not a question anymore. Another one, what are you saying? Are you saying present continuous question form? This is a question, a direct question. So you say, what are you saying? But when you report it, you have to change the order. You have to change the verb tense. If it is present continuous, it changes to past continuous. And also you have to use the order of a statement. I asked him what they were saying. They were saying. That's like an affirmative sentence because it is an affirmative sentence, not a question. So be very careful right there, okay? Commands, in other words, imperative sentences. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. So he warned his friend not to say anything. You can also use the verb tell. He told his friend not to say anything. If you remember the lesson that we studied the day before yesterday, uh, this is the negative form of a two infinitive. The negative form of two infinitive is, I mean, you form it, but just adding the particle not before the two infinitive. So he warned his friend not to say anything. And finally, you have general truths. So what is a general truth is some, uh, usually uh, a scientific truth. That means something that doesn't change. It's like, um, uh, for example, you know that the earth is the third planet from the sun, okay? That never changes, never, okay? I mean, tomorrow it's still going to be the third, you know, planet from the sun, okay? So that's not going to change. That's a scientific fact. And because it is a scientific fact, when you report it, you don't need to change the verb tense. All right. Example, the sun rises in the east. OK, that's a, that's a fact that never changes. The sun never rises in the west. OK, it rises in the east. So when you report this, say the professor at the university said that the sun rises in the east. No change in tense. OK, because you are expressing a general truth. It's a general fact, okay? Especially if it's a scientific one, okay? You don't have to change the verb tense. So this is what we studied yesterday. That was just a review. And right now we're going to do an exercise before we continue. Do you have any questions? I know it's a lot of information, okay? I am aware it's a lot of information. That's why I sent you um, the file via WhatsApp yesterday so that you could study it. But if you have any questions right now, this is a good moment to ask. So, uh, Gabriela Sequeira. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. There, there is an, another word we can uh, that we can use instead of uh, instead of warn. Um, warn. Yeah. Okay. You can use the verb tell. The thing about warn is. Um, Basically, when you warn someone about something, it's like if you do something or if you do the, if you don't do something, you're going to face some sort of consequence. That's a warning, right? But you don't necessarily have to use the word warn. Imagine that, um, okay, direct speech, okay, uh, statement, and then reported speech. Okay, somebody tells you, um, um, uh, remember your mom or your dad, they told you when you were a kid, Eat your vegetables. Okay. That's a statement right there. So you can say, my mother, 
told me. Okay, you can do that. I mean, you don't have to use warn because maybe if if your mother had told you, right, uh, eat your vegetables or else, okay, you won't watch TV today. Okay, now that's a warning. If that's the case, then you can say, my mother warned me, okay, to do this and that. But because this is not a warning, this is only a command, and your mother told you, eat your vegetables, then you can say, my mother told me and after that you have to use it to infinitive because it's a command to eat my vegetables vegetables okay my mother told me to eat my vegetables now one thing to notice is this okay it's not just the subject that changes sometimes also possessive adjectives change if your mom tells you eat your vegetables when you are reporting you say my mother told me to eat my vegetables okay you have to change certain words otherwise the reporter uh, statement will not make sense okay so yeah uh, i mean you don't necessarily have to use warn you, you can use tell also okay thank you you're welcome um any other questions teacher yes who's who's uh, speaking uh, ah uh, hello in this case, when when the mother said it in the statement, it we don't use to eat your vegetable. Not your vegetables, because now you are reporting it. No, it, uh -huh. in the statement, to eat your ah, no, no, vegetable. No, no. no because uh -huh. this is the imperative form. The imperative form always begins with a verb in base form. Always. In base form. Like when, when the teacher not says the not the to infinitive. Uh -huh. Like when okay. the teacher says, for example, open your book. The teacher never says uh -huh. to open your book, right? It, the teacher begins directly with the verb in base form. So that's imperative. Mm. Always, always. And if it's negative, you begin with don't. Okay. Uh like they told you don't um uh, what could be it? I don't know. Don't watch TV uh, for so long. Okay. Don't watch TV for so okay. long. I'm sorry, uh, Miss Romero. What are you saying? Yeah, that's like a compliment. Don't watch okay. too much TV. Okay. Don't watch. Don't watch TV for so long, or don't watch too much TV. Okay. So you can say, "My mother." That's a negative form. Told me not to watch tv for so long okay she said one hour two hours is enough but six hours every day no that's too much so my mother told me not to watch tv for so long okay the negative form will be like this right you just need to add the particle not before the two infinitive and there you go you have it right there and if we use the word order it for example my mother you order it Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Ordered me not to watch TV for so long. Although I'm not really sure if you can use a, a, pro, a pronoun after order. Let's see. Does order take an indirect object? Let's see. Um, I have to investigate this because I'm not really sure. I've heard it, but I'm not sure if it is grammatically correct. I guess it is. Order me not to do something or told me not to do something. Warn me not to do something. Yeah, I guess it is possible, but I have to look into it. But yeah, you can use the verb order. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. My mother commanded, okay, not to watch TV for so long. You can also say that. Okay. Anyway. Exercise time, okay? This is the knowledge check, okay? So um, this is the this infamous knowledge check that's been giving you a headache the whole day. So <laughs> I hope you have the right answers by now. Um, I, I I checked the, the WhatsApp group and I, and I did my best to help you. Okay, uh, we're going to do this. We write the sentences using reported speech, then compare answers with a partner. The first one is, I'm not surprised at all. So what about the first one? Who can Who can tell me? Okay, uh, I just need a volunteer to help me with this. Number one, I'm not surprised at all. Uh, 
Oh, come on. Okay, Madeline Diana. Uh, she told me I wasn't surprised a lot uh, at all. Uh huh. But in this case, she told me. Mm. Imagine, uh, I I have a um, okay, my wife. Okay, my wife, a lady, right? My wife said, "I'm not surprised at all." So when I'm reporting this to you, I said, "She told me that." She. Uh-huh, uh-huh, does she? She told me she wasn't. Uh-huh, exactly. Surprised at all. That's correct, okay. She told me she wasn't surprised at all. Now, that is optional. You can use it or not, okay? She told me that she wasn't surprised at all, or she told me she wasn't surprised at all, okay? Okay, great. Uh, thank you very much. Jose Raivin, number two. Uh, have you heard the news? Jose, are you there? Can you hear Jose? I can't. Is your microphone working correctly? Um, sorry, Jose, I can't hear you. Uh, Biden? Biden? <laughs> What's going on? I'm sorry. Oh, okay, okay. I'm sorry. Okay. He asked me if I had heard the news. He asked me if I had heard the news. Okay, that is correct. He asked me if I had heard the news. That's right. Okay. Um, Jose Ravin, do you still want to participate? I have a chat entry here. Yes, teacher. Okay, now I can hear you. Problems with the audio. Okay. They have been solved. Number three, uh, there's a bank down the street. Uh, she told me there was a bank down, down the street. She told me there was a bank down the street. That is correct. Okay. Or you can say she said that there was a bank down the street. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Jose. Thank you. What about number four? Why aren't you talking? How about this one? Jenny Elizabeth. And then Noemi Alicia for the next one. She said, she asked me, she asked me um, why I wasn't talking. She asked me why I wasn't talking. That is correct. She mm -hmm. asked me why I wasn't talking. Okay, oh, great. Yes. Now, uh, one more thing that we didn't mention before, and I want you to take a very close look at this. Look, so far we have reported two questions. The first question is number two, have you heard the news? And the other question is number four, why aren't you talking? What is the difference between these two questions? Who can tell me? They both are, um, sorry, sorry. One is yes or no, question. Uh, the other what, one is uh, Okay, uh -huh. Here, Mr. Mero. Okay. Yeah. The first question is yes or no question, I think mm -hmm. so. And the other one is asking for like more information. It's an information question. Yeah, that is correct. Yeah, the first one is a yes, no question. Number two is a yes, no question. Number four is an information question because it begins with a WH word. Okay. And WH, uh, all questions that begins with a WH word like why, when, who, which, what time, how much. Etc. Etc. Okay, those are information questions. That means you cannot answer them by saying yes or no. Okay, so what happens when you have a yes no question? Have you heard the news? If you have a yes no question, you have to use the word if. Okay, that's the key. Yes no question, when you report it, use if. He asked me if I had heard the news. But if it is not a yes, no question, if it is an information question, then you have to use the WH word at the beginning. Why aren't you talking? She asked me why I wasn't talking. So there's a key right there. Okay, remember, information question, use the question word. If it is a yes, no question, use if. Okay. Noemi Alicia, number five. Give him a call. Number five. Mm -hmm. uh, he told he told me to give him a call. He told me to give him a call. 
that is correct. Okay, he told me to give him a call. It's an imperative sentence. It's a command. Thank you, Noemi. Uh, number six, we're getting married. We're getting married. How about this one? Who wants to participate? If you want to say something, please raise your hand. I mean, your uh, virtual hand. Number six, we're getting married. What did she say? Okay, Noemi. And then uh, Miss Romero. <laughs> uh huh, Noemi. The microphone. Uh, she told me they were getting married. She told me they were getting married. Okay. Or she told me that they were getting married. That is correct. Thank you very much. Uh, Miss Romero. Okay. Number seven. Was the movie scary? I think it me if the movie had been scary. scary. Yeah, that's right. Okay, the children asked me if the movie had been scary, but as I have told you before, past simple, okay, um, can also be used in past simple again in reporter speech, okay, kind of informally, but people speak like that. So the children asked me if the movie was scary or if you want to be like, Totally correct, dramatically speaking, you can say the children asked me if the movie had been scary. That's right. Very good. Uh, number eight. Thank you, Miss Romero. Uh, number eight. Who wants to participate? Please raise your hand. That means press the button. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, Marisa. Okay. Uh, we didn't take the eight, the eight p.m. or the eight o'clock train. Why? Why did I say p.m.? That's not there. Okay, the eight o'clock train. They told me that they didn't take the 8 train. The 8 p.m., the, the 8 o'clock train. Yeah, they told me that they didn't take the 8 o'clock train, or you can say they did. They told me that they hadn't taken the 8 o'clock train. Okay, both forms will be correct. In the platform, I believe you have to use hadn't taken. Okay, that's, that's, that's the one that's taken as correct. Uh, okay, so um, that's the exercise. And uh, then we have this, this is knowledge check, okay? Um, the same answers that we were just checking just a moment ago. Um, you have to be careful because apparently uh, there's like a mistake and didn't. The last one, number eight, the second option, you can say they told me that they didn't take the eight train. You can also say they told me they hadn't taken the eight, the eight, uh, the eight o'clock train. Uh, those are the answers right there. I believe you have already completed this exercise. You were asking about it just a moment ago. Now we're going to, what time is it? 8.30. I have some exercises, but I'm not sure if we should go through them because it's, um, okay, if we have the time, we're going to solve them at the end. But right now I'm more interested in actually finishing uh, the section. If we have extra time, we're going to do the extra practice. All right, uh, that was, uh, 1.8, I believe that we need more practice and we're gonna try to do it if we finish this quickly. So um, lesson objective 1.9. In this class, participants will learn and practice using expressions to report speech, okay? So what is that? Tell me what he said, okay? That's uh, section 1.10. Put these expressions for reported speech in the columns, okay? And what are the expressions? The expressions are, he claimed that, he asked me to, he warned me not to, he promised to, he wanted to know, he explained that, he told me that, he told me to, he asked me, he advised me to, he encouraged me to, and he wondered. So you have to classify, you have to classify, I'm sorry, these expressions into the three categories, statements, commands or advice, and questions, all right? So the first one is, he claimed that, that's a statement, he claimed that, Dijo que, right? He claimed that. That's the first one. What about uh, the second one? If you if you can just raise your hand, the second one will be uh, he asked me to. Which category will, category will that be? Statements, comments, or advice, or questions? Raise your hand, please. Gabriela, okay. He asked me to. Where would you put that? Question. Questions. Okay. Yeah. Um. Not exactly, because you're using, he asked me to, 
Okay. In this case, ask is not preguntar. It's more like pedir. Commands or or advice. That's correct. It goes in commands or advice. He asked me to. Okay. Um, he asked me to sweep the floor. He asked me to close the door. Okay. Somebody tells you like, hey, can you close the door, please? Oh yeah, sure. So he asked me to close the door. It was a favor. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Um, what about the next one? He warned me not to. How about that one? He warned me not to. An advice from someone. Uh, commander advice. Who said that? It was Debbie. Debbie okay, you thank you. Thank you. All right. Always let's always uh, raise your hand. Otherwise, I get confused. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry. Okay, so he warned me not to. That's commander advice. That's correct. Thank you very much. Uh, the next one is he promised to. How about that one? He promised to. What can you say? Madeline, and then Alejandro, keep your, your hands raised. Okay, Madeline. I guess it's a um, statement. It is a statement. Yeah, that's right. He promised to. That's a statement. Very good. Thank you very much. Alejandro, the next one, he wanted to know. How about that one? He wanted to know. A statement, teacher? A statement. Well, I mean, all of them are statements, but we are reporting. It is what you are reporting specifically. Okay. So it's not reporting a statement. So he wanted to know. In other words, what was that? You get a second opportunity. A yes. Okay. It's, a, it's reported a question. Sure. They're reporting a question. That's that's the, correct. The question. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's right. Yes. Uh, thank you. Uh, what about the next one? Uh, he explained that. Nadia, okay. What do you have? In my opinion, it's command or advice. Command or advice. Okay. It's uh, the, the person was providing an explanation. So it was not really advice. It was not really a command. It's a different one. But um, you get a second opportunity. If it is not a command or advice, then what is it? Uh, a statement. It is a statement. Yeah, that's right. He explained that. Okay, that's uh, you're reporting a statement right there. Okay, very good. Um, what about the next one? He told me that. How about that one? Always remember, raise your hand, Maritza. He told me that for me is command or advice. Uh huh. But here's the thing. If, if it is, he told me to, then it's a command or advice. But when you say, he told me that, it goes in a different category. Maritza, you get a second opportunity. Where would you classify that one? He told me that, uh, maybe questions? A question. Well, <laughs> not really. <laughs> okay, but well, thank you. Thank you for participating. <laughs> it's actually a statement. Okay, he told me that. Me dijo que tal y tal cosa. So he told me that. It's actually a statement, reporting a statement right there. Uh, thank you, Marisa. Debbie, about the next one, uh, he told me to. You already said that. Yeah, <laughs> I gave the answer. Yeah. Right. Someone's in, or advice. <laughs> it's a commander advice, correct. Okay, so there's a difference when you say he told me that or somebody told me that and somebody told me to. If somebody told you to do something, that's a command. If somebody told you that something happened, okay, no, that's a reporter statement only. Okay, thank you, Debbie. Um, what about the next one? He asked me. What about that one? He asked me. If you want to participate, please raise your hand. Just a question. Who said that? Okay. Uh, Miss Romero, Miss Romero. <laughs> okay. All right. It's a question. Yeah, that's no correct. Reason. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so uh, he asked me. Okay. That's a question. Now, here's something that I want you to notice. Okay. When you say, when somebody asks you, okay, that's a question. You're reporting a question. But when somebody asks you to do something, that's a request. In other words, it's a command. Okay, there you go. Thank you very much. Um, what about the next one? He advised me to Nadia and then Noemi. Is a command or advice? 
It's a command or advice. Yeah, that's correct. He advised, he advised me to. It's a command or advice. Very good. Um, the next one, Noemi, he encouraged me to. What about that one? Um, it's a command or advice. It's a command or advice. That is correct. Very good. And the last one, he wondered. Hmm. How about that one? He wondered. If you know the answer, please read it. Let me know. Okay. Jose Arturo Ramirez Bernal. Your microphone is off. <laughs> so, sorry. Um, okay. This is a statement. A statement. Well, not exactly. It's not a statement. You get a second opportunity, though. Commands or advice. Command or advice. Uh, sorry. <laughs> it's actually... Uh, a question. Okay, when you wonder something, when you wonder something, you say like, hmm, why, why? Okay, you're wondering. Okay, so basically, you have a question. When you say he wondered, you are reporting a question that someone else had. Alejandro Quintanilla. Yes, teacher. Excuse me. What's the meaning of wonder? Wonder. Preguntarse. Yes. Preguntarse. Oh, okay. Have you heard the okay. song? There's a lemon tree. They say, I wonder how, I wonder why. Okay. So me pregunto, ¿cómo me pregunto por qué? So you say, I wonder why. Okay. Like, it's like talk, talk with myself. Technically, yeah. Okay. okay. Although okay. you can say you can say that out loud, even if, if you're with other people, right? You say, I wonder why, I don't know. Okay. I wonder why the earth is round, <laughs> just to give you okay. an example. Okay, so yeah, that's that's right. You have, uh, there's a classification of uh, reporter, um, uh, expressions for reported speech, depending on what you want to express or when you want to report, okay? They can be statements, commands or advice or questions. That's section 1.10 that you have in the platform. And now we're going to do another exercise, which is a listening exercise, 1.11. I want you to take a good look at this. Um, we have this, listen to Nicole's and Tani's news. Check the correct picture. So I'm going to uh, play the track and I want you to solve exercise one, exercise A. So you see the situation. See so the situation, Nicole is, you know, asking him to marry her okay and situation b he is asking her to marry him which is normally what happens okay and tony you have this it's working on may the first and in the second picture is working on april the 30th okay well not working actually it looks like he's packing actually like he was fire or something so um also he looks sad so i'm going to play the track and i want you to tell me which situation or for each conversation uh they're describing if it is a or b Nicole's conversation and A or B for Tani's conversation. Let me know if you can hear it. Listen to Nicole's and Tony's news. Do you hear that? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Check the correct pictures. One, Nicole. I got some incredible news over the weekend. Yeah? What happened, Nicole? Well, my sister is finally getting married. Really? Well, wow, that is exciting. How long have they been seeing each other? Oh, I mean, it's been over four years since they met. My mother has always said that they would get married someday, but no one expected it to happen now. And you know what? The funny part is how it happened. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, listen. My sister told me that they were eating at this fancy restaurant, and while they were reading over the menu, listening to some classical music? Uh, let me guess. He pulled out a ring and asked her to marry him. No, Smarty. The other way around. She asked him. She said she got right down on one knee and proposed. Yeah? Yeah. And he was pretty surprised, I think. But of course, he immediately said yes. Listen, they're planning a wedding for the fall. Well, that is great news. Yeah, and I'm sure they'll be very happy together. Yeah. Now I have to start thinking about the wedding. She asked me if I would be a bridesmaid in the wedding. So, you know, I have to buy a dress, and then I have to... So, Two. Uh, which one is it? A or B? A. A, all the way. Yeah, that's right, okay. Unusual proposal. 
Okay, but yeah, it's letter A. I remember my proposal, no, but it was more like B actually, <laughs> not like A. <laughs> okay, so um, the next one. Tony, why the long face, Tony? Oh, I got some bad news today. What happened? Well, you know my job at the design studio? Yes. Well. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Today, the boss called me into his office and told me they had to lay me off. That means as of April 30th, I'm out of work. Oh. No more job. Oh, Tony, I'm so sorry. You said you really liked working there, too. Yeah, well, it's not all bad news. The boss told me there's still a small chance that the company would call me back in the summer if the work picked up. You never know what'll happen. They may need me then. Oh, this is so sudden, isn't it? Well, not really. See, the boss also explained that two other employees had already been laid off. I had a feeling I might be the next one in line. You know, I've only been working there ten months, so I don't have any seniority. If they're going to lay someone off, it's always going to be the newer employees first. What are you going to do? Like I said, I've still got a job until the end of the month. Starting in May, I plan to send out resumes and go on some interviews. Depending on the outcome of the interviews, I may be... All right, so which one is it? Is it A or B? Teacher. Letter B. Yeah, absolutely. He got laid off. Okay, that's right. Okay, so he was fired. Okay, so um, there you go. Uh, listen again, circle the best answer to the question. So number one, Nicole's sister met her fiancé in the fall yesterday or over four years ago. And number two, Nicole's sister is probably not afraid to be different, very traditional or shy. I'm playing the track second time. I want you to choose the right answers. Oh, come on. Okay. Listen to Nicole's and Tony's news. Check the correct pictures. One, Nicole. I got some incredible news over the weekend. Yeah? What happened, Nicole? Well, my sister is finally getting married. Really? Well, that is exciting. How long have they been seeing each other? Oh, I mean, it's been over four years since they met. My mother has always said that they would get married someday. But no one expected it to happen now. And you know what? The funny part is how it happened. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, listen. My sister told me that they were eating at this fancy restaurant. And while they were reading over the menu, listening to some classical music? Uh, let me guess. He pulled out a ring and asked her to marry him. No, Smarty. The other way around. She asked him. She said she got right down on one knee and proposed. Yeah? Yeah. And he was pretty surprised, I think. But of course, he immediately said yes. Listen, they're planning a wedding for the fall. Well, that is great news. Yeah, and I'm sure they'll be very happy together. Yeah. Now I have to start thinking about the wedding. She asked me if I would be a bridesmaid in the wedding. So, you know, I have to buy a dress, and then I have to... Okay, so uh, Nicole's sister met her fiancé when? C. Letter C. Letter C. Okay, years. over four years ago. No, All right, C. there you go. Number two, Nicole's sister is probably? Not afraid to be Letter different. A. Letter A. Okay, afraid not afraid to be different. To be different. Yeah, that's right, not afraid to be different. Okay. Cool. Uh, number three goes, Howard, th Howard thinks at the design studio there isn't enough work, things are picking up, or every everything's about the same. And number four, when will Tony's job end? A, in 10 months, B, in less than a month, or C, in the summer? I'm going to play the rest of the track. Listen, please, and choose the right answer. Two, Tony. Why the long face, Tony? Oh, I got some bad news today. What happened? Well, you know my job at the design studio? Yes. Well... Oh, no. Oh, yes. Today, the boss called me into his office and told me they had to lay me off. That means as of April 30th, I'm out of work. Oh. No more job. Oh, Tony, I'm so sorry. 
You said you really liked working there, too. Yeah, well, it's not all bad news. The boss told me there's still a small chance that the company would call me back in the summer if the work picked up. You never know what'll happen. They may need me then. <sighs> this is so sudden, isn't it? Well, not really. See, the boss also explained that two other employees had already been laid off. I had a feeling I might be the next one in line. You know, I've only been working there ten months, so I don't have any seniority. If they're going to lay someone off, it's always going to be the newer employees first. What are you going to do? Like I said, I've still got a job until the end of the month. Starting in May, I plan to send out resumes and go on some interviews. Depending on the outcome of the interviews, I may be... Okay. You should start sending resumes before the end of the month. <laughs> Okay, anyway, uh, number three, how are things at the design studio? There isn't enough work, yeah, okay. There isn't thank enough work. You. Thank you, thank you, all participants. There isn't enough there work, letter A. Enough. That's right. In number four, when will Tani's job end? When will in it end? In, in the summer. Okay. No, in the summer. A. No, letter, letter C, teacher. B. In the summer. Letter B. Letter B, teacher. Public oh, debate. Public debate. <laughs> Public debate. I'm sorry. In less than a month. Yeah, yeah that's right. In less than a month. Okay. <laughs> because he finishes on April the 30th. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um. Good. Okay, that's the listening exercise. It's the same you have in the platform. Exactly the same answers. Okay, so it's A and B right here. Part one and part two, same answers. Okay, nothing new right there. So if you have done it here, you can do it right there. 848. Okay, we don't have much time. So let's go over the reading section, which is the last one. And if we have a little time, we're going to do an extra exercise on um, reported speech. Though I doubt it, but okay, let's continue. All right, so there's a letter, uh, sorry, uh, reading part, the reading exercise. Uh, read the article. These headings are missing from the text. Put them in the correct place, okay? I take it you have already completed this, uh, I, I believe. <laughs> Before we do this, I would like to call some people uh, from the attendance list. Debbie is here, right? So, yeah, attendance taken. Francisco Alberto Lemus. Is Francisco here? Francisco. No. Gabriela Laure, yeah, she's here. Oh, it's present. Hi, welcome. Nadia is also here. Yes, she's yes, here. Teacher. Thank you. Ricardo Ernesto, are you here, Ricardo? I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Welcome. The only one person's missing, maybe by the end of the class. Okay, so uh, again, read the article. These headings are missing from the text. Put them in the correct place. So you have the generic ring, the I talk every, anywhere, the distracted driver, the shouter, the useless call maker, and the corporate big shot. Okay, so cell phone personality types. In her travels, telephone doctor Nancy Friedman has noticed a variety of cell phone personalities. Which of these types have you seen around? So the first one is, I'm going to read the first one and then you're going to help me read the next ones, okay? The first one is the shouter. Talking three times louder than necessary is characteristic of this offensive cell phone user. You know, there's a person who cannot, you know, speak at normal human levels. Some people really like to shout like, hey, right. When they're on the phone, they're shouting, they're shouting, right. And people go like, oh man, can you just like uh, turn down the volume? So that's a shouter. He seems to think everyone has a hearing impairment. Doesn't he know the phone already amplifies his voice? That's the shouter, all right? What about the second one? Okay, um, I. by the way, there's a chat entry here. Okay. All right, uh, number two. What, what about number two? What do you have right there? Gabriela. I think he is the corporate big shot it's the corporate big shot okay yes yeah, the corporate big shot that is correct can you help me read it Gabriela yes this pompous fella makes 
all his business calls in public places while standing in the middle of a crowded room. Mm -hmm. he, conduct, he conducts big business deals right there in front of us, but we're not impressed. Mm -hmm. This pompous fellow makes all his business calls in public places while standing in the middle of a crowded room. He conducts big business deals right there in front of us, but we're not impressed. Okay, so that's the corporate big shot. A, a big shot is a person who thinks is like uh, uh, important in or promising in a way. Okay, uh, Alejandro, microphone, Alejandro. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. The next one, teach. <laughs> okay, the next one, number three, please. The useless call maker, teacher. The useless call maker. Yeah, that is correct. Yes. Okay, the useless call maker. Can you help yes. me read it? Yes, teacher. This experienced person makes trivial, trivial phone call. Sorry, trivial. Tri trivial, trivial mm -hmm. phone calls. One after another, another after another. On airplanes, you overhear her saying ridiculous things like, hi, we haven't left yet, or hi, we just landed, okay? See you in a minute. Yeah, that's why instant messaging was created, right? So that you don't have to call people every five minutes. But yeah, yes. totally. Yeah, the useless call maker, this exasperating person makes trivial phone calls, one after another, after another. On airplanes, you'll overhear her saying ridiculous things like, hi, we haven't left yet. Or, hi, we just landed. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay. That's the thing. I mean, it all depends, right? We all do this one moment or another. Okay. Guilty yeah. as charged. Yeah, that does sound kind of rude. Sound, sounds kind of rude. <laughs> yeah, totally. Sounds kind of rude. Especially because yeah. we all do this. We all do this. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We all do this. But in my case, I prefer just to send a text message. If I say like, okay, uh, I haven't left yet. Okay, I send a text message. <laughs> anyway. So uh, that's the useless uh, call maker. So what about the next one? Um, number four, what time is it? 8.54. Uh, number four, who wants to try? Would like to read? Jenny Elizabeth, what do we have? Number four. Yes. The I talk anywhere. The I talk anywhere. Okay, thank you. Can you read it, please? Okay. Making and taking calls anytime, anywhere is the, the trademark. The trademark. Or trademark. Mm -hmm. Or this in infuriation. Infuriate. I, I always have trouble saying this word. For some reason, I always get. I know how to pronounce it, infuriating, infuriating in, person. Uh, infuri okay. Infuriating person. It's always hard Chat, for me to say this. Chatting in restaurants, at movie theaters, and eating at funerals. When her cell phone rings, she looks at, at you and says, insincerely, oh, sorry about that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Making and taking calls anytime, anywhere is the trademark of this infuriating person oh, said it right uh she'll call in rest she'll chat i'm sorry in restaurants at movie theaters and even at funerals when her cell phone rings she looks at you and says insincerely oh sorry about that okay that's the i talk everywhere thank you jenny byron what about number five what is that the, the distracted driver the distracted driver okay yeah this is a distracted driver Correct. Can you help me read it? Okay. Drive or use the phone, don't do both at the same time. This can be dangerous. It's really scary to see a delivery truck in the rear view mirror with a distractor driver on a phone behind the wheel. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Drive or use the phone. <laughs> Don't do both at the same time. This can be dangerous. It's really scary to see a delivery truck in the rear view mirror, okay, with a distracted driver on a phone behind the wheel. 
Okay, yeah, it is It is scary, right? You see in the, in the rear view mirror, and then you can see that the guy driving behind you is using the phone, especially when they're driving a big truck. Get out of the way, okay? It's it's a perfect recipe for a disaster. Anyway, I, I saw the news once. Uh, well, this is very tragic. I should probably not talk about it. But yeah. Anyway, uh, the last one, uh, Debbie, the last one, quite obviously. Yeah, there is no options. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. So it is the generic ring. The generic ring. Okay. Yeah. This is uh, believe me or believe it or not. This is this is one that I find kind it of happens. annoying. Okay, it happens. It happens, happens. <laughs> it happens totally okay. happens. Yeah. Okay, it says these are the people who haven't bothered to personalize their ringtone. One phone rings and 10 people check to see if it's there. Mm -hmm. Hang on. I think that's my phone. Yeah, these are the people who haven't bothered to personalize their ringtone. They buy a Nokia and they, they have that. Da -da -dun -dun -da -dun -dun -da -dun, right? They never change it for some reason. Um, one phone rings and 10 people check to see if it's theirs. Hang on. I think that's my phone right there. That's the generic ring. Okay. That's pretty cool. Um, that's the exercise, pretty much. You have it in the platform too. You just have to choose the right answer. Okay, just as you can see there. Okay, the same answers we just had right here. Teacher. Yes. Who's who's speaking? I have some doubts. Okay. About Romero. Sorry. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. This is Romero. Okay. Uh, and I have some doubt about the listening um to listening the session two. Yeah. Listening. Ah, here. It's about the kind of job. Yeah, me too, teacher. The kind of job. Job. Uh huh. What? What is yeah. it? Yeah. Two point twelve. Two point twelve. He. Ah, the ah, man says that. Wait a second. So two point twelve. Are we talking about section number two? Yes. Ah. Section number two. Yeah. Okay. All right. So um. Okay. Let me get there. Because I'm not there yet. Um. Two point two point two is a knowledge check. Is that what you want to? Go it's see. about job names. Is this this exercise? I'm sorry. Am I getting confused? The listening. The listening. listening. Is the the listening. Two point twelve. Ah, 2.12. Okay, sorry. It's a listening part. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see. Um give me a second here. Okay. So the listening part, uh, listen to an interview with actor Tom Wiley, I believe. What jobs does he talk about? Just type in the jobs he mentions. No capital letter or period is needed. Okay, so which one is giving you trouble? Number one, two, or three, or the three of them? The two. two and three. Make it two, two and, and three. three. The first is the taxi driver. Taxi yeah. driver. But the okay. second and the third. The second one, okay, according to what I have right here, should be. The third one is house painter. Number two is department store clerk. And the third one, as, as mentioned just a moment ago, is house painter. Or you can write it all together like house painter. If you try those answers, I guess you'll get it right. Let, let's see. I guess so. Let me see, let me see. Yeah, there you go. The second one's department store clerk and the third one yeah. is house painter. Okay, great. Yeah. All right. Thank uh, you, thank you so much. Well, well, you're welcome. Okay, all right. Um, before we finish, let me just uh, pull the attendance one more time. Francisco Alberto Lemus Guzman, are you here? 
Francisco, Alberto, Lemus, Guzman? Apparently not. All right, then. Okay, um, listen, remember that there's no, there's no class tomorrow. It's Friday, so no class. Okay, we'll be seeing each other again on Monday, uh, October the 2nd. Okay, so um, remember, work in the platform. Okay, always work in the platform. I, I've seen that in, in the... Um, in the WhatsApp group, there's what there was a message saying like, okay, these people are, well, haven't completed this yet. Okay, I didn't see the names honestly, uh, but but if you're in this situation, remember to you know work in the platform, make progress right there. Otherwise, it's going to accumulate and 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 this is supposed to be sent okay to in support every week. So if if you don't complete it in time, then you're gonna get in trouble right there because. These people, th these guys from me support don't usually wait. Okay, uh, they're very strict. They're very strict. They have the rules. So um, we're going to stop right here. Um, everybody, thank you. Thank you very much. And um, I'll be seeing you next week. Okay, good night and have a great weekend. Good night. Yes, yes bye. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Bye bye. Ah, bye bye. In this week, if we finish only session one. Only session one, yeah. Okay. And session mm -hmm. two, bye two. Bye. Mm -hmm. Actually, um, if I'm not mistaken, it is because a message you got on WhatsApp, right? Where it said that you have to complete section one and section two, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah but that is, that, that is a generic message. Uh, for this level, there are only four sections. So actually, we're going to be working on each section per week. If you, let's see, I'm going to show it to you. There you go. There's section one, section two, three, and four. So it's basically one section per week. I believe that uh, there was a mistake when they sent you that message. It was a generic message meant for uh, all the other levels before advanced. Because all the other levels had five sections, if you remember. You had to solve section one and two on the first week. But not in this case. So I believe there was a mistake. So if you have completed up to section number one, you're good. Don't worry. <laughs> section number two is for next week. Okay, everybody. Okay. Take good care. Thank you. Have a good night, Thank you. everyone. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 See you on Monday. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 <laughs> Yes. Are you sure? Yes, I am. <laughs> I am. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, the thing is, uh, again, right, because in previous levels, it was uh, five sections. So we had to complete <laughs> two on the first week. But this time, there are only four. So we complete one per week. Don't worry about that. Ah, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. So, sorry, Kelly. sorry, sorry about the misunderstanding. Ah. <laughs> uh, Qué alivio. <risa> Teacher, dijeron que yo no había estado ayer, fíjese. Ah, de verdad. Y es cierto. Uh -huh. ¿Quién, ¿Quién dijo que no había uh, estado ayer? Me llamaron, teacher. ¿Really? Sí, yo le puse okay. ahí en el WhatsApp. Me llamaron, que porque no había estado. Lo que pasa es que me conecté un poquito tarde porque no he tenido internet. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Pero sí, teacher, sí. Este, estuve participando. Pues, ustedes, eh, Ana y Yanira Mendoza, ¿verdad? Yes. Es que creo que se han de haber confundido de Yanira, <ríe> porque hay dos Yaniras. Entonces probablemente le llamaron a, a usted porque... No, no porque está ya, Janet Yanira sí no se conectó ayer. Pero usted sí, aquí tiene la asistencia. O sea, uh -huh. Yo le puse asistencia, que sí estuvo. Uh -huh. Entonces uh -huh. me llamaron, no, pero me llamaron, me dijeron, cuando me llamaron, me, yo pensé que algo, me iban a ofrecer alguna tarjeta o algo, y me dice, no, me dijeron todo el nombre y me dijeron que por eso me llamaba. Creo que, Entonces, ha, habido, creo que ha habido una confusión, no, pero sí, aparece su, yo le puse ah, su no. asistencia, uh, le puse que sí estuvo, y le aparecen lo, contados los minutos también que estuvo. Se conectó un poquitito más tarde, entonces en vez de 60 <risa> tiene 47 minutos. Ahí están contaditos. No Alejandro. Se <risa> no, no se preocupe. Eh, pero, sí. pero en serio, en serio, porque fíjese que yo solo he llegado comenzando hoy la sección 2 a puras penas. 
Ajá. Pues, bueno, sí, sí gusta consulto, pero hasta donde yo entiendo, sí, solo la sección 1. Pero es que lo, ellos mandaron la programación y, y estaba ahí siendo. Um, creo, teacher, que es, esa programación es en base a los... Es como que es un mensaje ya programado de los Es un cursos mensaje anteriores. genérico. Uh -huh. Es un genérico Ajá. que he estado de los cursos uh -huh. anteriores, en los cuales habían cinco correcciones. Ajá, exacto. Entonces, um, pero para este caso igual, a mí me reportaron que había estado solo 45 minutos, por lo cual yo ayer reporté que sí estaba ahí como por la, a causa de la lluvia estoy teniendo un poquito de problemas Ah, con la conexión, se le desconectes. entonces a veces me Uh desconecta y vuelve a conectarse, entonces ayer así me pasó, me pusieron solo 45 minutos de clase. -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Lo que pasa es que ahí en, en Zoom todo esto está siendo grabado, por cierto, pero en Zoom hay un, hay un, hay un reporte al que tienen, no, no hay problema, al que tienen acceso los administradores. Hay un reporte, yo no tengo acceso a él, los administradores tienen acceso y es generado automáticamente por la plataforma de Zoom donde dice cuántos minutos estuvo conectado cada participante. O sea, no, no, no es al cálculo, sino que ahí aparece. De, teacher, de hecho, el, en, el, en el curso anterior no nos pasaban lista. Ah, de veras. No. I don't know. Nunca. <ríe> I don't know about that. Bueno, podría ¿Verdad, ser, Alejandro? podría ser también que fuese porque, de todas maneras, nosotros acá en Zoom, yo puedo ver los participantes, puedo ver una lista. Entonces, a lo mejor, supongo yo, a lo mejor el teacher o la teacher que estaba a cargo, en vez de llamar sus nombres, solo los iba viendo y los iba poniendo. quizás Supongo yo, supongo yo, pero no sé, no tengo idea. sí, ha, ha habido algunos teachers que al inicio y al final pero el anterior no ninguna vez pero Me imagino bueno que así, así fue el caso. Pero ok bueno, los voy dejando. bueno bueno I'll bueno see, you, see you Monday. Bye bye. bye teacher Okay. Bye guys. Bye guys. Happy weekend. Bye.